Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. So that's our website, newqbo.com. So in this video, I'm going to talk about price rules in QuickBooks Online. So uh, if you are familiar with uh, desktop, uh, it's also known as price levels. This is on desktop, but on uh, QBO, it's price rules. So this is basically for uh, uh, specific pricing uh, to uh, selected customers or all customers. Uh, so uh, let's see uh, how this one works. Okay, so first I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online now. So this is QuickBooks Online. I'm using Plus Plan for this video. And here's our website. It's newqbo.com. Actually, we have two websites. This is for uh, uh, QuickBooks Online, QBO. And the other one is newquickbooks.com. That's our desktop. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you need to buy QuickBooks, you can just come here on test drive. You can just test drive. Uh, if you don't want to use your own... Uh, live uh, uh, file, you can just come here and uh, uh, select test drive. Uh, and uh, so that if you want to buy QuickBooks, uh, we have external links in here. So uh, you can check it out. So, you know, these are the links. If you just click it, it will take you to uh, our QuickBooks uh, website. And uh, so also have uh, external links for a desktop too. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online. First of all, you need to activate uh, price rules. It's always, you know, part of uh, gear settings. So I right here, just click the gear, upper right corner. Just go to Account and Settings, okay? And then click Sales. It's part of Sales. As you can see here, it's still on uh, beta stage. So all we have to do is uh, turn on price rules. So normally you'll have something like this. Just turn on price rule and then save it. Okay, and done. So what's next now? Okay, once you've done this, then you have two ways to go to uh, uh, set up new uh, price rules. Okay, before I do that, uh, I'm going to go to sales first. Okay, uh, and go to customers. Customers. So you may have noticed the customer types here. So you may want to use this feature, customer types. Let's click this one. So in this case, I have a commercial. Uh, one is commercial, the other one is uh, government customers. And if you want to create a new one, let's just say I want to create a new customer type. Uh, all you have to do is, let's say in this case, I have a one for internal. Uh, this is for like a, a transferring sales, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you have a, demo stuff okay so it's just say uh, internal okay all right so now what's next now okay so when you go to customers let's just say this in here i've already done this uh for all the customers some of the customers here let's say this one is newqbo.com this is internal okay so just click edit okay it's so under additional info additional info in here additional info and then just select the customer type let's say this is internal one save it okay and so that's about it uh, and if you go to your customers page you will see the come a customer type and uh, normally this one you have to select uh, from this middle gear you know you add the column normally you will see something like this no customer type okay you'll see, you'll see something like this so you have to come here middle gear and then select Customer type. Now you see all the customer type in here. See customer, commercial, and internal, like this. Okay. All right. So that part is done. Okay. Now we go to uh, uh, price rules. Uh, how to set up price rules? Okay. So go to middle gear again. So you have two ways of getting there. One is the all list in here under list all list. So it's price rule is right here. Right here, I've already done some setup in here. Okay, the other way is a uh, uh, little dashboard again. The other way is normally you just go to your products and services list, product and services list. Okay, under more, you will see price rules in here. Price rule, it will take the same place. Okay, so let's say if you want to create a, 
uh, new price rule. I've already done a few here. I'm going to go through this. Uh, so just open this screen and just create a rule name. And then they have a, a you know, you can set up uh, price rules by either percentage, fixed amount, or customer custom price per item. Okay. Uh, so at this point, there's nothing nothing you can do about the quantity discount. Let's say somebody bought 10 pieces or more, you know, you want to give uh, uh, some discount. So it's not set up that way. It's basically either percentage or fixed amount or cost price per item. Okay, I've already done a few in here. All right, so let's select this one in here. So this one is basically for the uh, custom price per item. Okay, and uh, you can select the customer uh, individually or all customers or by customer type. You can have customer type, uh, either by customer type or all customers or select customers, select individually. So in this case, I have uh, selected individually, right? So it's a custom price per item. Let's say you want to add another one in here. Select another one. Okay, and let's say this is uh, Adam Anderson. And you just select the uh, which products you want to give discount. And here, let's say you know this uh, uh, normal uh, labor hour rate is 150, and for this customer you want to give 120. You know, and you'll say on this one you want to give uh, five dollar less. Let's say it's 45 dollars. So something like this. You just save it like this. Okay, so that one is done. And let's look at the other one in here. All right, so let's say you want to, uh, uh, this one is a fixed amount, fixed amount. And in this case, uh, I'm giving $5 or less uh, to, uh, uh, to, to to the customers. So you can use this for, as I said, uh, select individually all customers, like in holiday style, you want a discount or, or, or give a special pricing uh, for all the customers. Then you can select all customers like this. So now it will apply to all these customers, all the customers, and you can just save it. So this is this applies to all the customers, right? And if you want to make it inactive, then select the drop down arrow. All right, and the third one is uh, on the percentage one. So in this case, I have a 10% discount, okay? And if you want to increase price, you can do so too, increase price, okay? Uh, so this one is also individually, and if you want to select, uh, uh, you know, by customer, commercial, government, and internal, okay, so you can do that. And uh, uh, I have selected these two customers, okay, and uh, let's just do one by government type. I don't have the government set up in here. I'm going to go to uh, customer and select, let's say I want to, I want to have a, new customer in here is the government type i say this is the city of uh, los angeles okay so you need to fill out all these i just go to additional and the customer type is uh, government so as, as you can see here there's uh, nothing uh, uh the price rules in here so once you set up price rules you will see as this one ha happens to be uh five dollars uh, uh, discount to uh, all the customer. That's why you're seeing it. And let's just say I want to go back to uh, price rules again and set up by uh, uh, type. Okay. Oops, that's not the one. Okay, under more price rules. It's a new price rule. And I want to do this by uh, for the garment customer type, right? So this is a customer type. So you can do, you can name anywhere you want. Yeah, this can say customer type. Okay. Let's say you want to uh, give special discount price, and it's a percentage one. Let's say uh, twenty percent discount to garment. All right. So city of Los Angeles. You've got it right there. It's government now. Okay. So how does this work now? Let's go to sales now. Okay. And I just want to select it. Uh, I want to, let's say I want to create invoice. 
All right, I'm just going to create City of Los Angeles, right? And you can fill out all those. Uh, let's say the product one in here. Okay, let's just select the first one in here. So now you will see, uh, see, as you can see here, all the default rate, sales rate, customer type. Let's say you want to give special 20% discount on this one, customer type, okay? And let's select that one, simple as that. Uh, you can select $300, this is the standard price, uh, or, or just give $5 or less. So you have a choice, or 270 you know, 10% discount. All right. Okay, so simple as that. We don't want to charge sales tax to the government. Okay, so look at location. Let's say this is the Los Angeles one. Okay, so simple as that. And just save this. And that's how this one works. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels. Uh, one is the BP controller, and the other one is QuickBooks QB QBO. BP controller, YouTube.com for us that BP controller, YouTube.com for us that QuickBooks QBO. Thank you again. Bye.